This week, we're taking a look at the new Grandmaster Quest, The Light Within, as well as a whole host of other updates coming to RuneScape this August. Here's Mod Mark with all the details. Our main update this month is The Light Within, a brand new Grandmaster Quest with requirements and rewards to suit the greatest of players. In it, you'll be working with the elf clans to rebuild Seren to her former glory, piecing together shards, revisiting Freneske, and wrestling with some pretty difficult choices that will determine her future, how she looks, how she acts and thinks if you successfully bring her back. What will your role be in the ancient song of creation? Rewards are suitably massive as we give you some brand new spells and prayers to suit skillers and for those who like to play a more supporting role in group combat activities. Try out a range of new prisms and auroras to overwhelm your opponents, or the powerful new shield dome to protect your friends, or the mysterious soul link, as well as experiment with crystal eyes to turn your skilling locations into crystals, instant growth to speed up your farming runs, or enrichment to improve your divination training, just to name a few. This fantastic update was inspired by Gaga Lady, winner of the Rune Labs quest poll earlier on in the year. Well done to you. Improvement updates are, once again, packed full of your suggestions via the forums. This time in the player owned house we've added more theme flexibility, allowing you to mix up ground, house and dungeon types, and we've added a few more ground textures too. You'll also be able to change between day and night modes, and while you're exploring your house, you'll notice that we've made some gameplay changes to make life less painful while training the construction skill. Inside the Elf City, we've added new functionality to the Max Guild by adding useful stuff like decanters, enchanters and new portal locations, and we've improved Movron's challenge rewards by adding a bunch of new stuff, not least the permanent dark crystals. There are lots of other smaller improvements too, like added crystal weapon drops for the Edimus and new golden rocks for sinkholes, so do make sure that you have a nose around. Elves love the company. We've also graphically improved a bunch of the Maya key in Mauritania, ready for next month's awesome quest. So flap over to the east if you can't wait to see them. With the added attention to minigames since the successful spotlight system was introduced a few months ago, the ninjas have taken it upon themselves to fix up some of our more tired and lacklustre examples. This month they've fixed up Fist of Guthix, a great game all about being hunted down by a fellow player while trying to earn some tasty rewards. We've improved the game so it's easier to start and find opponents. We've changed the gauntlets so they can be dropped by monsters. We've added player crafted dragon coifs. We've made some of the equipment available as high end free to play gear. And we've added a bunch of new rewards gloves for room crafting, fishing and herb lore, making the whole experience so much more fun and worthwhile. You might not know, but over 5,000 of you per day are playing mini games, and we want to see that number increase even further. So if you keep giving us feedback, expect even more improvements and reworks in the future. In other news, we've got some interesting content coming up as we play around with Hearts of Ice, and we've added Death Lotus training to Treasure Hunter. And Solomon swaggers in to introduce a bunch of new walk animations and present a huge summer sale. Have fun! Woot is out! And we're back next week with the first of RuneScape's newest updates coming this August.